Hi and welcome to another video of Type With Me. In this video we'll see how we can do testing with Jasmine and TypeScript. So first of all we need to install some dependencies. So we need to install Jasmine and add types Jasmine, right? So let's do that. We also need to use Jasmine TS console reporter. So let's do that as well. Then we need to initiate our Jasmine project. So now we have here a spec folder. So now we have here a Jasmine.json file and here we put this slash spec. So within our spec folder here we add a new folder helpers and here I add a new file ts console.ts and I add the following code. So here we add ts console reporter and then we can say jasmine.getenv clear reporters and jasmine.getenv add reporter our new TS console reporter, right? Great. Now here we can create a simple new file namer.ts and in here I create my namer class which has method get name. So now we can create here in this folder a new file namer dot spec dot ts and in here we can write some tests and these these are some basic tests so here we create a new namer we ask for namer dot get name and we say to be defined the function get name should be defined and here shouldn't return blank So namer.getName not to match. The function get name should return the, the name. Of course, should return my name here. So namer.getName to match my name. So one of the things that's very important is the fact that we need to adjust our uh, target folder. So here within uh, tsconfig.json we need to add our output folder. Output there will be dist. That's also the folder that we defined here, right? So that's very important. So now we can build our project. You will see that we have here a dist folder with our TypeScript files being transpiled or uh, generated. And we have now JavaScript files, right? Now we can execute Jasmine. And you will see that we have two failures, which is normal because we expect uh, this to match my name right and we also don't want to have an empty string but when we look back to our namer.ts we see that we have a get name method with an empty string right so with this uh, report this typescript reporter we see that we have an error in namer.spec.ts So we get a correct uh, stack trace there. That's awesome, right? So now here we add my name, 
Now I build this. And now we can call Jasmine back. You'll see that we have green tests. Great. So now here I created a person.ts file where I have a class person and I have a class dictionary, right? And then that person can say hello world with the dictionary hello and the uh, dictionary world. Now we can write a spec here with the name person dot spec dot ts now we can provide the following code uh, and that's this one so here we create a function or a test function that um, is an example of how to use spy on within jasmine we have two classes one is a person and one is a dictionary and then here we can say that we want to have a spy on dictionary and on the method hello and we want to have a spy on dictionary on the method world then we say person dot say hello world with our dictionary and then we want to have been called uh, the hello method and the world method right so so let's build this and now let's execute this and now we have three tests that are working thank you for watching i hope you learned how to write tests with jasmine and typescript and that you can now apply this to your projects. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.